you have a bald spot right here. This entire top of your head is thinning, it's bald, and you're unsure what to do. So in this video, and I've never actually done a video like this because I've never had a mannequin like this before. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about really this area and through here and the haircut. So this video is for guys who are struggling with you know, hair loss or specific areas and male pattern baldness, which happens kind of pretty often where if you look at this, you may have a full head of hair and an amazing hairline, but for some reason, just in the top back of your head right here, it's thinning. And I've seen this a number of times. I, you know, no one can explain why it happens. It's just the way, the way the body works, but let's go over what needs to happen. And I'm not gonna be cutting this hair. Instead, I wanna focus on what needs to be done so that you can explain it to either your barber or your hairstylist or even just for your own knowledge. So as you can see in through here, this hair, right? I know I keep moving this mannequin around. This is the top back of the head where the, the balding area is predominant. There it is. What needs to happen is that this hair on top here needs to be long enough to cover all of this. Now, people are saying, oh, is this a comb over? Is this, you know, it doesn't look, looks fake or blah, 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 blah. Well, actually, if this is cut properly, which I've done this a million times, you can cover all of this up without it looking unnatural. Now, the key thing is what you're going to need to do, and I've seen a lot of hairstylists do this, which is an absolute mistake. When they're cutting this top of the, of the head, what they'll do is they'll start to bring all this up and layer it heavily, getting rid of all that length and exposing all of this. The key to this haircut and the key to really working this in, and that's why I want to leave this hair a little bit longer into here, just to, just to kind of almost pretend that um, we're doing this, see what's happening. The longer the hair, the more it covers up. And I know some people may be against it or say, oh, it's disgusting, or I would never wear my hair like this. But you know what? There's people out, here, out there who have this hair type and they don't want to shave their head bald maybe, or they want to kind of maintain and cover this up. The next thing is, and this is the most crucial part of this, I've literally taken guys who have had this type of hair where it's really thin and fine on top, had this grow out and then grow and connect into this. So meaning what's happening is, and this is a good visual right here, is you can see where this hair it maybe starts to get longer into the back. What needs to happen is this piece right here, all the way from the very, very top, needs to grow to this point right here, or even a little bit longer. And I, and I have so many clients that actually have this. This needs to come all the way down past where the balding area is, and then it needs to be connected by the haircut. All this needs to be blended into this part. Not all this cut into this, but this back area blended into this. And then what happens is, when this gets all combed back, it almost looks like you can't even tell. You know, it's a really incredible, uh, you know, technique that I've learned over the years of how to really camouflage uh, someone's hair, especially if he's got bald spots. And this is the same thing. For example, if you've got a lot of hair here, a lot of hair here, and just in this area, the, the, the most important thing is to grow this hair out to where it covers it completely, and then it's blended in to everything else, starting from the sides or the back. Do not over layer this, do not cut it too short, and I've seen it way too often where this will get butchered and it'll end up looking like this again. Be patient, grow this out, cover it up in through here, and get a proper haircut so that all of this looks seamless. And it may look like your hair is maybe just thinning slightly in the back. Now, how do you go about styling something like this? Well, <laughs> and, and this is again from experience, you need to blow dry this all, the way, all back, and you're gonna need hairspray, right? Hairspray, a firm holding either pump hairspray or a aerosol hairspray, but something really strong to comb this in place. And what I do a lot of times is I'll blow dry the hair, right? I'll blow dry it, comb it exactly where I want it to cover, then I'll take the hairspray when it's fully dry, 
and I'll spray it very thoroughly and I'll, I, then I won't really touch it, all right? If I do, I'm lightly touching the sides here, if anything, but I'm really leaving this top put here because I want the hairspray to settle down onto the hair so it's not moving out of place. Remember, you're combing this exactly where it needs to be. This is all blended in. You really can't even tell that you have no, it's thinning in this area or you have a bald spot. Set it and forget it. Spray it, leave it, don't touch it. The minute you touch it, it may start to separate or uh, and the hair is very, when the hairspray sits, it's a bit more on the wet side or damp side because of the, the hairspray and the water and the hairspray. So what you need to do is really just comb it, don't touch it, spray it, and then if you need to, maybe comb the sides or whatever you need to, or you can use your hands. What I've done is I've actually used the hands to compress the product or the hairspray onto the hair so it doesn't really affect this placement, but what it does do is it kind of just tames it down because maybe your hair is a bit on the thicker side or it pokes out. You can lightly kind of tame it or tap it down with your hands so it doesn't disrupt what you just did. I also know that women suffer from this too. It really is the same technique universally where the goal of the whole thing is to really cover this up. Or you could use you know, a hair system. Uh, I, I'm working with LaVivid Hair. They have amazing hair systems or hair units that you can use to cover it up as well. You can shave the whole top and just you know, put one of those things on, which is another solution. But if you're male or female and you're going through this uh, I apologize. I mean, look at me. I completely shaved my head. <laughs> and I also have worn the hair unit, which I'll wear from time to time as well. I'll go like this or I'll wear it and go back and forth. But the key is really to cover up that area. Think of this as a work of art, right? You're really trying to construct something and build something that wasn't there to begin with. And it's a process. And it doesn't, I wouldn't say everybody is extremely knowledgeable in doing this because I've seen so many butcher jobs where you'll never be able to cut this, or I mean grow this and cover it. So you need to find somebody who is really experienced with men's haircutting, somebody who knows what they're talking about, and understands the process of really connecting and creating a shape to make it look, remember it's all an illusion, to make it look like there's no bald spot, to make it look like it's, it's thicker. So you really gotta find somebody uh, who knows what they're talking about. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful, and uh, you know, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.